Hey guys and welcome back to Create Mod. This is Code Arcanus and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple, very quick washing automatic washing station. So for that, let's run across to the crafting station and have a look at what we need. So we need some vertical gearboxes, well, gearboxes, some wool some bits and pieces and I did bring the fans cool so first off we need to make ourselves some yeah we need to start using these grab some water we need that as well so let's run over to where we're going to put down the machine let's try here because this machine here is making loads of gravel and as I said last time you wash if you wash gravel, you have a chance of getting some iron nuggets, which are very handy when you start building bigger stuff, because I never seem to have enough iron. So first first off, eh, let's get some fans going. So let's put a fan here and a fan backwards. That's not great. Let's try the other way around. Okay, so we have two fans. Uh, and what you have to do is you drive them the wrong way. They end up blowing rather than sucking rather than blowing. So let's just steal some power from this machine. Uh, oh, wrong one. Gearbox, gearbox. Where is the gearbox? I need one. There's a gearbox. Oh, that's not running backwards. So let's spin that the other way. And let's try that. Yep, they're spinning the right way now. Let's get some power across this way. Yep, one too many. Put a gearbox in. Let's see if I've got it the right way. Oops. Too much power. Let's slow it down a notch. Am I blowing or sucking? No, I'm blowing. That's brilliant. That's what we need. We need to get, oh, get rid of those two. Actually, no, we'll keep those. Do we have some belts? Belts, belts, belts. If I was a belt, where would I be? Not over there. One day I'm going to get organised and figure out what we got here. No belts. Luckily, I got some dry kelp. Dry kelp can be used to make a belt. So you take your mechanical belt. Click it on one, click it on the other, and now we have two fans blowing. Yay! Right, so what do we need next? We need some chests to put our lovely washed stuff in, so let's put that down. Two away, so one, two, there, and there. So the idea is that anything we drop down here will get blown, washed, and put into the box. Let's come back over here. I need to make some funnels. Now funnels are amusing things. It's ah, I need to make electron tubes. So if you look at the recipe here for brass funnel, actually that is getting annoying. Just let me turn off the cobble generator. So if we look at brass funnels, we need an electron tube, brass ingots, and some dry kelp. Electron tube is polished rose quartz, and all we've got from the nether is rose quartz. So how do you turn one of those into one of those? Well, you grab some sandpaper into your hand, into your offhand, grab that, and then just sand. And that will turn you into rose quartz chunks. And if you look at our backpack, there you go polished rose quartz. Come back to the crafting table and now I should be able to make some electron tubes. Why is that not working? Because I need to add some iron sheets to them. Did I bring my iron sheets? Yes I did. Oh, wrong one. So 
electron tubes. Make as many of those as we can. Let's make six of them. I need four of them. And that's it. And let's see, I'll pick up some. Let's do this one in cobblestone at the moment. So, and I've got some glass. Let's do it in glass so you can actually see what's going on. Oops. Daytime, nighttime. Easier, easier sleep is a great mod. Makes life so much easier. Right, so. Glass, 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 glass. One, two, three, four. And we'll put some across here as well. And what you do is one, two, one, two. Put yourself your chests there and there. Nope. I pressed the wrong button. Never mind. Oh. There we go. So anything we put in here we want to drop straight down in front of the fans. So let's get some shoot action. Uh, shoots. One, two. So anything we put in here, let's put one of those in. We'll get drop back down. And at the moment it doesn't get blown into the chest. But if we get our brass filters we just made and go one, two. Nope. If I get out of the way. Ah. Two. And as you can see at the moment they're pointing outwards. So if you do that and that, they'll now point inwards. So anything we let's just drop some sandpaper in. It's blown out and it'll appear in here. Right, so that's relatively simple. Problem is, anything we put in here will get pushed straight through. So what we actually want to do is there's this lovely thing called an attribute filter. So if we come over here and look for attribute filter, some wool, some brass nuggets. Well, I've got some brass, so let's make some nuggets. And wool, uh, wool, wool. wool. All went. Yeah. There's a wool. Grey wool. So if you let's make a couple of them. So these things, when you shift when you right click on them in your hand, why am I holding why am I holding a sh shoe to my hand? Never mind. You right click on them, it comes up with this and it says add a reference item. So, what we're actually wanting is if you look at, the, uh, let's say, let's get some gravel because we're going to be dumping gravel in there. Let's get some gravel, right click again, put some grav gravel in there, and it gives you a whole bunch of attributes. So, it can it be placed on the ground, can it be washed, can it be crushed? So, we want anything that can be washed to stay there. So what we actually want to say is add the opposite. So if you look at hover over that it says anything that cannot be washed pass through. Anything that can be washed let's just hold it in the water which we'll put down in a minute. So you click on that. So I now have two attribute filters both of which are set to be you know, washed. And the problem is now I can't click on them. I didn't think this through. Let's turn that off so I don't get blown around as much. And let's get rid of those. And if you get the, those, and right click on that box there and there. So these now got the attribute filters and so anything that can't be washed will now get blown through. And put the water in front of the fans. There and there. Let's add the shoots back in. And let's see if this one will work. So shoot, shoot. Turn it back on. 
So what we've got now is, as you can see, the fan's blowing through the water. If I put something in which cannot be washed, let's say brass nuggets, they'll appear straight through. If I decide to then put some gravel in, you'll see that the gravel just sits, sits there, and eventually you'll get it washed. And there we go. We now have iron nuggets and flint. So what we can do is if we empty our backpack, sorry, empty our inventory into our backpack, which again is a great mod, you can have a big backpack on, get a whole lot of gravel from our big crushing system, come over here, throw it into that, so it chugs away nicely, and hopefully we should start seeing lots of lovely iron nuggets start flying through. There you go, look at that, lots of flint. So, as easy as that. So there you go guys, a nice, easy, quick washing system. And the idea is at some stage, probably in the next video, I'll hook up the iron, sorry, the cobblestone generator over there to be dumping into here, and then from here to dump into here. So then we have an end-to-end -end automatic yeah, iron nugget generator. And there you go, in a few minutes we've got two and a half stacks of iron. Can't be bad. So, okay guys, thanks for watching. If you like it, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye.